Going into today's video, everyone, I set out to answer but a single question. How do you find a lunar island and find it consistently? Now that I actually got into the video, I came to realize that two other questions would arise. How does one initially locate the island of the Krabby Hermit, aka Pearl, and is there indeed a way to actually pinpoint the location of the Crab King without sailing every which way to Sunday? So then everyone, we have three questions here. So let's get three answers. And we will start with the easiest question of them all. How do you find Pearl's Island? And it's easy. Embarrassingly easy. Messages in a bottle spawn very often in the coastal ocean, aka the waters right off of land, and even appear occasionally as flotsam near a sailing player every one to two days out on the water. And these messages in a bottle are our literal ticket to the new lands. The very first message you read will always reveal Pearl's Island no matter what. And that's that, everyone. There's your answer number one. Now the answer to our next question. That being, how to find the Lunar Island. And it is also very easy actually everyone, but just not as fast as the first. That said, it is still quite straightforward. Literally. No, really folks, finding branches that are as straight as an arrow and moving forward beyond them is darn near guaranteed to lead to these lunar lands. Yes, the end of the branch may be pretty jagged as you can see at the bottom there, or it can be as flat as a pancake like the one at the top. But whatever the case, they are straight, yes, and that's what matters. And while that is indeed the gist of it essentially, I didn't just want to show you one example and just leave it at that. Because every world, every person, and every branch is different, right? Right. But one thing will always remain the same. Straight edges. Unnaturally straight edges, to be exact. It's sort of like a perfect cut, if you want to think about it like that, because it doesn't happen in the natural world. So, if you do indeed think of it like that, I think you're going to be less overwhelmed and better off at the end of the day. Besides, the whole point is making things so much easier for you. So here we go, folks. Third time's the charm. Map your edges, mind the straight edges more so than all the others, set sail and head out straight from them, and chances are you will be stepping foot on foreign soil in no time. Well, depending on how fast your wooden circles float on by, but that's a whole thing. But here's the thing too, everyone. Straight edges are not just a tell for the lunar island. For you see, straight edges also tend to indicate the locations of none other than Pearl and the Crab King themselves. Ah, now I think you understand why I coupled all three questions in the one video now, don't you? But yes, here's where things get perhaps not tricky per se, but muddied maybe. I mean, you can see at the left there that, once again, a couple of straight edges are leading us directly to the lunar islands. But so is the branch at the top right near the deciduous forest there. It is just that we can't, unfortunately, teleport to the other ends of the water via the world edges like we can within shipwrecks. But the bottom right edge seemingly leads to nothing. However, directly on the opposite side is the Crab King, folks. So that may throw you for a loop sometimes. And heck, even though it's not the best example I've ever seen, the very top edge points close to Pearl at the very bottom edge too. In short, straight edges are insanely useful and telling when it comes to much of what's on the water. They may not just tell you what you want to hear at that time. Either way, I think we've answered question number two, folks. So now, the Crab King, question number three. What's the answer there? 
Well, you could use the edges to your advantage, as we've been talking about, and just hope they're right. You could just sail willy-nilly in hopes of finding them, although that's just insanely futile because he can literally spawn anywhere on the water. Or you can use knowledge to your advantage, everyone. Forgotten knowledge, to be exact. Find your blue mush tree forest biomes in the caves. Find the lunar grotto biome that is connected to it. Walk to the ancient archives via the lunar grotto in order to activate said archives. Locate the blue fountain of knowledge in order to obtain some distilled knowledge. And then proceed to complete the ancient orchestrina puzzle in order to unlock the distilled knowledge that we just got for the blueprint for the astral detector. Oof. That was a lot said in a very short amount of time. So I do apologize to those who are incredibly lost right now, but don't fret. We have a ton of other videos to help you if need be. Cause for now, what we need to know is that all that work leads to a device meant to locate every piece of every celestial altar in the entire game. And yes, I do mean every single one. And once you find the two pieces of the Celestial Sanctum, the detector will point to the Lunar Islands as the three pieces of the original Celestial Altar reside there, of course. More specifically, on the Lunar Mines. So yes, technically, one could end up finding the Lunar Islands for their first time like this. However, I would think that is quite involved for many out there. Straight edges for the win, I'd say. That said, in contrary, for the Crab King, I don't think anything comes close to matching the potential of the Astral Detector when it actually comes to finding him. Listen, some worlds, you will likely just stumble upon him no problem, while others will be an absolute drag. The point is, you can use the literal world to possibly tell you where he is, or literally have technology do it for you. Whatever the case, question three has been answered, I believe. Oh, but if you're curious why the Astral Detector actually points to the Crab King, it's because when killed with pearls, pearls socketed, he drops the Celestial Tribute Altar. Ah, now you see it. But with that, there you have it, everyone. How to locate the Lunar Islands, Pearl's Island, and the Crab King all in one. And I think many out there are not only going to be quite surprised by how bloody easy it is to accomplish those tasks, but also by how all three are honestly really connected in a way, a straight way. So map those edges, everyone, and get to limiting your sailing to a minimum. Um, good luck. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Expect more lunar content coming soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.